Les rêves des amoureux sont comme le bon vin. Ils donnent. Hi, Happy Scrappers, I love to make mini albums. Oh boy, I've never used that line for a long time. Um, okay, this is a really quick video that I'm trying to do. Um, I did my Victorian mini album and a lot, I and I showed you some of the links of the videos that I got my ideas from on how I bound and assembled my Victorian mini album paper bag. And it's the same way that I'm going to bind my Le Romantic mini album. Um, and um but i think even after the videos as well um i think some of, i still got some of the request on how i put it up all together as well and um i totally understand sometimes when i look at people's videos it just doesn't get into my brain <laughs> um and i don't know whether i'll do a better job probably not but i'm just going to show you just how i put one or two pages together and hopefully that helps uh, what i use is six by nine envelopes and what i do is i paint it and i use acrylic paints actually so i get really hardy you need to get really good hardy envelopes and thankfully i was i was on a search for a long time trying to find good envelopes um, because sometimes when i distress it or paint it and you know the envelope edges starts fraying but this is pretty good from a zone um the a zone brand i don't know whether you all have it in your country and i basically every uh corner or edge that i fold this is about one and a half inch that i score so it's six by nine one and a half inch that i score and i basically painted with acrylic paints again this one here i'm just using actually what am i using I'm actually just using my wedding cards. I'm just recycling my wedding cards. Um, this is quite good um, paper. So, you know, next time when you go for weddings and sometimes you do see, well, you know, sometimes I, um, uh, you do see a lot of the wedding cards just littering around the auditorium once everyone leaves. Well, you know, everyone's not using it. So, hey, um, you could just, you know, take a few. Uh, but of course, please ask first <laughs> I, I i need to a few from my really really good friends one when they had too many and they didn't know what to do with it and they don't scrap so they pass it to me so yay so this is my wedding cards and what i do is i cut it to size i think it's about three three inch uh three inch and a bit of and a quarter three and a quarter inch okay then i score it this is about a quarter inch i score the spine and this is double sided i stick this too so when i cut I, I cut it and I stick it this side. So it's double sided, really hardy. And I painted it, of course. And as you can see that I painted it um, the outside, just a little bit different color than I painted it on the inside because the inside definitely have to match, uh, the spine of the inside definitely have to match the edge of your envelope colors. And the outside, I painted a different color because I'm thinking of doing a, a slight goldish um, hinge. Uh, album on the outside but i'm not too sure and i guess you will see it in a giveaway video so do check that out i put a link video uh in the link below okay so i have already just put double-sided tape for you and i'm just going to show you how i assembled one of the pages so this is one of the pages it's sort of half done as you can see and um so i closed it and i like to do my mini album step by step um, I don't normally put all the pages together and then start embellishing it but I just you know I would paste two embellish it and then paste the next one so it's easier for me it's not a hard fast rule please don't uh, make it a hard fast rule but it's easier for me because I stick a lot of embellishments down and uh, if I have all the pages here and there I just find it a little bit in the way so I stuck it with red tape and I'm going to line it really carefully to the edge. And for this spine, I made it half inch. Because I know this album is going to be really thick. So what I'm doing is I'm alternating half inch, quarter inch, half inch. No, a bit less than half. Like three eighths of an inch. Yeah, because half sometimes is a little bit too fat. Okay, and then here what I'm doing. Okay, so you have this part here. And then what I'm doing is that I alternate my bulk as well. So in this page here, the flap is this way. Yeah? 
so I want to alternate my bulk this time I will put the flap this way here the flap is flipping out and here the flap will be flipping in okay I'm sorry this is boring you but sometimes basic stuff can be a bit boring and you get to the fun stuff soon enough okay. Line it up as straight as I can. Okay, it's all stuck down. So this is what you have so far. Alright. Now I did my first or well it's not fully done, but I did my half first half two pages. This will be my front cover. Again, my cheap board. I always paint it. I always paint all my sides as well. And it opens it up like this. So it's my flap on the inside. I haven't finished it yet. This is my pattern paper. And if you don't already know, I use a lot of Glory of the Seas gold. Um, Lindy Stem Gang Starburst stains. I just loved it. And I'm, and I'm probably going to use it in all my papers. I just love it. Love it. It just makes it so vintage and so, so shimmery. And for this one, because this one, you could do a pocket, definitely. So you just only stick it here and one glob of glue here. And you could be like a pocket. But the way I'm designing this page, I have decided I won't do the pocket. I'm going to stick the whole thing down like this. Yeah. And that's it. This is how you assemble it. And... I hope, I don't think it's still as good as tutorials out there, but I hope that this will give, you, you know, sometimes I see like three, four, the same tutorials by different people and I get like different things out, out of it. So I don't know whether this, this would help you do that. Okay, so um, if not, check out my giveaway video, check this out if the deadline is not finished <laughs> and um, happy scrapping. Bye.